Okay, good morning, everybody. Sorry I'm not here again today, but we're going to continue making progress. Our next project is going to be long, although we'll have a little bit of uh, change in terms of <laughs> the original thing. But uh, long is a classic exercise for programmers uh, all over the place. Everyone who has ever uh, programmed a computer in the last, I think, like 20 years has made the game of Pong. Our game is going to be a little bit different uh, than the original, but for the most part, it'll be um, authentic and it'll definitely be fun to play. Uh, as much as Pong can be fun to play. So <laughs> that's, that's going to be our goal. Uh, so, uh, last class, we looked at doing the keyboard input. And we looked at doing um, something else. <laughs> um, to put a, oh yeah, collisions. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so you know we are going to uh, use those things, obviously, to make this pong thing happen. Collisions will be with the paddles, but we are going to do circular paddles, uh, and you can sort of hide a paddle half off screen to make it look like a semicircle. Uh, or you could you can put the whole circle on if you want, it doesn't really matter, uh, it's fine. Uh, oh yeah, there's a little bit of fun story about Pong, and you can find out about that if you like. Uh, or just Google Pong and find out all about it, it's a pretty good time. But anyways, watching a YouTube video of a YouTube video is, is kind of weird, I just realized, so let's, uh, let's go on to talk about what are the projects um, criteria. So, actually, typing in here is probably a bad idea because it'll underline everything. You, you type. I don't know. Actually, I just, I just, just do it. We'll do. Um, what would we do? Continuously check for errors. Turn it off. Aha! I got that menu by pressing Control, comma, or Command, comma. Okay. So yeah. So now we can just type and it won't, it won't do that bad effect. So we're also going to talk about the criteria for the project. So first of all, uh, we're going to build in the mode framework again. Uh, this is what I suggest you do first. It is easier to organize your project from the beginning rather than try to impose the mode framework on it afterwards. So that includes uh, separating your uh, draw function and possibly your mouse release functions into uh, if statements that look at a mode variable, and of course, uh, organizing things with tabs as well. So what modes are we going to be looking at uh, this time? So it's going to be fairly similar. We're going to introduce one new mode, though. We're going to have the intro mode, and then we're going to have playing mode, and we'll also include pause as well. So in the middle of your game, you can pause it so you can go get a drink of water or something like that. And of course, we'll have also the game over screen. Game over will be, um, it'll sort of display the winner. And we'll make the winner whoever gets five points first. Right? So announce player one or player two, or red player, blue player, or whatever you want to decide. Um, there's a difference between the players. They'll announce which one was the victor. So that means we need some kind of uh, scoring system. And in Pong, it's when it goes off of the left or right edge of the screen, uh, the other side gets the point. It's sort of like uh, table tennis or ping pong, I guess, uh, is the idea there. <coughs> so the scoring system is going to be uh, important. Of course, we're going to have all the um, ball, I hesitate to call it physics, uh, ball uh, bouncing stuff that we had from the target clicking game. The top and bottom walls will still bounce. So that means we'll need things like uh, the X and the Y again. And if statements to control the bouncing. The bouncing off of the paddles we haven't done yet. Uh, so you might want to wait or at least till the next YouTube video where I do that or when I get back hopefully next class. Uh, we can we can take a look how to bounce off the ball. Having a oh, sorry off the paddle. Having a circular paddle 
is actually going to be fantastic because you can sort of choose do you hit it straight on and therefore bounce the ball straight back or do you hit it off on an angle so there's, there'll be some more strategy uh, to build into the project uh, into the game itself so that will be good of course we'll have to make the paddles uh, and we're going to make them move with uh, keyboard input so that will be uh, part of the project and let's see, is there much else to this ball? Uh, I guess that's basically the story there. Uh, I guess I'll just put in um, paddle ball poison. Technically is a new thing, um, so we'll have to go into that at some point. So the last part will just be sort of the quality marks for the project. So you can break down quality into all the you know the polish on the top of the project. So things like uh, graphics, you know, if you have a hand and paint GIF for the intro screen and and that kind of stuff, you could just keep nice and pure with the original look. So that might mean you want to get some custom fonts uh, included to your project, uh, sound effects, uh, music, that kind of stuff. Now you don't have to necessarily do all of these things, but those are, you know, yeah, these things will improve the quality of the project. Um, there can also be, you know, interesting uh, user interface UI. Um, so, you know, the buttons and such that you're clicking on, you know, there's sort of different uh, levels of effort you can put into that. Um, and, you know, different levels of quality you can put into that. And then I'm going to offer another option as well. So there could also be, uh, I just can't really press space. I'm gonna copy a space and, and paste a space to get over. I'm not too sure why I can't press space uh, multiple times, but there we go. Um, so then, um, so the other option is gonna be doing um, an AI player option um, uh, with a difficulty setting. And, I think this will be really interesting because some people are asking about that. Um, AI players option will basically, you know, you, you choose two player versus, um, you know, one player, easy, medium, or hard, uh, and the AI will control the opposite paddle. And uh, but for me, oh, oh dear, I am boring myself so much apparently, <laughs> or maybe it's just it's six thirty in the morning. I don't know, but anyways. We got, um, you know, the, that possibility. This is, um, these are both sort of choices you can make. And you could, you know, assuming you do a perfect job on one through five, and you do a great job on uh, quality, then you can get 100% on this project. And if you're more into, you know, if you're not into this stuff, some people just aren't. Some people are, and some people aren't. So if you do a great job on one through five, and then you do this instead, you can get 100%. Um, you know, assuming it's not too terrible in terms of the interface. I, I could actually play the game right now. But. Um, or if you choose to do both, and you do a perfect job on 1 through 5, then you can get bonus marks on the top. So that would be fun to do. And then there's sort of the hidden 6th, um, uh, sorry, 7th uh, thing, and that is uh, debugging. And there's no actual mark for that. It's just I'm going to be helping you in a different way to debug your project. So instead of me coming, I mean, I, I literally can't come today. So sorry, it's not quite what I intended. Um, <laughs> but it's it's a, it's a kind of a direction goal change there. Uh, I won't necessarily be like showing you which is your missing brace and why isn't your ball bouncing, but guiding you through a process. And I haven't gotten to talk about that process, but that's okay. I think it'll be good to go and, you know, try doing this stuff. Like this is familiar to you. This is familiar. This is familiar. You did that last class. This is not known yet, so we'll have to work on that. But like, these are all things that are familiar. At least, at least you have examples of code you've written of that stuff. So this is sort of the order I would do things in. Well, I guess kind of. Uh, squaring and ball movement and bouncing. Let's just put in movement here. 
Uh, we'll probably have to work side by side on scoring. But this is sort of the order you will do stuff in. And you'll make mistakes along the way. And you'll have to sort of uh, find what is the solution. But how you go about doing that is also going to be lessons. So starting next class, um, you know, we'll start the class with a lesson of how to you know, add a new feature. I'll start a lesson with uh, how do you solve problems and what are some specific problems. Okay, so good luck today. I hope it's a productive day for everybody, and we look forward to seeing how things have gone for you uh, when I get back. Okay, thanks, everybody.